I had lost everything that I knew to be solid in my life. And let's be more specific for those who don't understand oh, okay. um, everything your dad. Well, it started uh, at the top of 2004. Uh, after I performed with Sheila E on the Stellar Awards mm -hmm. that night, my father had a stroke. Wow. So I had to immediately fly back to San Diego, take over the church while he was still in Houston, mm -hmm. recovering. Um, so the pastoral position was in my lap overnight. Wow. And so I did that up until July. Uh, in March, uh, no, February, I lost my step-grandmother, mm -hmm. uh, who was not even a step, just a regular grandmother to me. Wow. Um, then following her, uh, I lost my dad's father, my grandfather. And then May, um, the head deacon of our church and my uncle, he died just out of nowhere. Um, the day on July 24th, my aunt had a heart attack um, in church and died. Mm -hmm. And then the next day, my father dropped dead of a heart attack. I just was speaking to him the day before about, oh my God, Andy just died, just had a heart attack. And now the next day, wow. my aunt's knocking at my door in Los Angeles. I'm not even at home. I'm in LA. And uh, my my aunt knocks on the door, and just the look on her face, I said he died. Wow. I knew. Hmm. I knew he had died. And I was fine. I was actually helping her until uh, I called my mother, and I said, well, where is he? And she said, he's here laying on the floor in front of me right now. And that's when I kind of lost it. And then my uncle pretty much had to tackle me, and his pastor had to grab me, and hotel security was called up because they thought it was a fight or something going on, but it was just the most surreal thing for me to know that my mother had to come in and find him dead on his way to the PAW National Midwinter. Did you feel like you, did you have a nervous breakdown at any yeah. point? 06, that's when I retired. Um, I was supposed to do the BET celebration of gospel, um, and Ty Tribbett had to fill in for me. I remember that. And. Uh, the doctor said, if you go do this, you, you're you setting yourself up for either a stroke or a heart attack. Was this a medical doctor, a psychiatrist? Medical doctor. Yeah. Did you ever see a psychiatrist to get it all out, get on mm, any medication? No, I should have. I was eventually um, diagnosed with um, anxiety disorder. Okay. Um, I never had that before, but I think as a result of all of these events, I developed it. And, uh, what were, is that? It's when you feel like you're having a heart attack all the time. It's a feeling of anxiety that is really embarrassing because you really can't control it. It just some of the viewers probably know what it's like. Uh, maybe they don't know that's what it's called, but it's when you get that overwhelming feeling of, of panic and you feel like you're about to die. Mm -hmm. I, want, I want to go back to in that song where you released and you got rid of a lot of your pain. Yeah, the naked you, truth. You, the naked truth. You. You mentioned being molested. Yes. By whom? Family um, member? No, no, this is a, uh, well, both. Once uh, from a preaching family friend, wow. and then another one within the family. So um, once at three, and another time at six. Did you ever tell anyone in your family, your mom, your dad? Mm, no, no. Um, as you got older. Yeah, but I was terribly embarrassed by the whole thing, you know. Yeah. Um, I don't think I quite even understood the whole thing to a certain degree. I think... Um, There's no way you could. You, you can't you really can't. wrap your mind because no. it's like, and then when that Pandora's box is open, and I just want to just, just put this disclaimer out there. Because many times, you know, you hear people blame, you know, their sexual experiences or explorations on molestations or rapes. And I just want to say, yes, I was indeed molested, mm -hmm. true. I was exposed to um, you know, sexual activity and exposed to things that obviously at that age you shouldn't be exposed to, which opens up a box of awareness. However, I'm not blaming those situations on the choices I made later. Um, could have been a foundation, could have been a, a, a seed planted, but I take ownership for every bit of sexual exploration that I have made. 
So have you struggled with homosexuality? Not struggled. It wasn't a struggle. Yeah. That's why I like you. Yeah. So. <laughs> and then the people like to blame the struggle on molestation. No, just say you were attracted to men and be honest and quit Is blaming it on that experience. I just wanted to make some clarification that the reason why me and my wife um, were divorced had nothing to do with sexual indiscretion or me going outside or her going outside the marriage or me being gay. While I was with my wife, I was very faithful and I enjoyed having sex with her. We had a wonderful sexual relationship and that's why um, we stayed together as long as we did. You were married how long? Um, four years. Would you get married again? To the right person, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if, I don't think people really know what they're getting into when they're marrying a leader or pastor's kid or recording artist. A lot of people fall in love with the idea of what that person would be like. But I don't think they take into consideration the evolutions that we artists and mavericks take. It, it would be very difficult for me to get married because of how much, I can't even date without being violated by Wikipedia or Google. You know what I mean? It's like, could you, can we date? Right. Could we go out? No, I already know. You did this. You screwed this person. You lost this. It's like, so we don't even get a chance to present nowadays our representatives. Wow. You got to come 100. So this person would have to be so secure within themselves. Wow. To not be intimidated by um, somebody who's secure in their manhood sure. and everything that goes along with the complexities of of an artiste. Is being attracted to men under control? Under control. You said you were attracted to men at one point. Am. You, you, am. Mm -hmm. So do you practice? Like piano? Homosexuality. I don't know how to put that. <laughs> I'm trying to put it as, I'm <laughs> literally trying to put this in the best. Do you sleep with men? I don't sleep with men. You're making this real hard for me, and you know exactly where I'm going. Do, mm -hmm. um, you say you don't, when I said, do you struggle with homosexuality? You said, no, it wasn't a struggle. It's not a struggle, no. What are you, what are you doing, man? What, who are you dating? Are you dating, are you considering dating men? Are you considering dating women? Is, is homosexuality a thing of the past for you? Is homosexuality a thing of the past? I think that when someone understands who they are sexually, and they know that they're a free spirit and they understand who they are as a person, it's really difficult to label that. Because there's still times I'm like, hmm, I do want kids and I very much love women. Um, we are but, lovable. And yeah, you are, very much so. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, I think we have to be honest with ourselves as to what it is that we have affinity for at the time. Okay. And I think because of the situation that I experienced with the first marriage, that I would have to say that I lean more towards the same sex. Um, not so much that I feel um, that women are not created for man or that a uh, man is not created for woman. I feel that it's a matter of energy and people's honesty and a matter of love. And I believe that God doesn't honor promiscuity in either hetero or homosexual lifestyles. Mm -hmm. um, same gender loving. I think it's important for people to not be so caught up with who I like to sleep with mm -hmm. as much as I'm practicing safe sex or I'm in a monogamous relationship, no matter what that would be. Now, then you would have those that would say, well, that should be under the guise of marriage. Well, I believe covenant, period, is marriage. I don't think that um, same-sex marriage, I, I never really could wrap my mind around same-sex marriage, okay. but same-sex covenants, I can definitely wrap my mind around. I think that I can What's the difference? It's just a piece of paper, right? Well, for me, I think the term marriage, um, I've always, at least in my mind, at least at this stage of personal conviction, I believe that's set aside for man and, and woman. Okay. Um, I think when people say they want to be involved with same-sex,